So actually, as many, many people are talking about, it's the time for real estate debt again. And just as it was in 2009, 10, 11, definitely agree with those. However, we really believe there's a global story and different opportunities in different regions around the world. So being a global company, we follow structural themes. So it's important to look at the real estate. So we have our three Ds, which are decarbonization, digitalization and demographics and fit for purpose property that investors and occupiers want. So following those structural themes, when you look down into the debt opportunities, I'll use the US as an example, where what we call stabilization or transitional financing is key. And that really fits quite if heavily into the multifamily residential market, where more and more money is required to refinance construction loans before they can go into long-term financing through the agencies. So there we see a huge opportunity and also to be overweight multifamily. In Europe, for example, a headline I'd pick up is decarbonisation. Sustainability, what occupiers, particularly tenants, are looking. And it's not just the office market. You know, for different reasons, logistics tenants and logistics uh, net zero requirements, as well as wider uh, issues of fit for purpose uh, power demand in residential, bring sustainability ESG. And over in Australia, actually, it is about construction finance. There's a big gap between what the banks will provide, but also, I'd say, a higher level of return for the same risk. So overall, um, the markets are interesting. Uh, there is a big demand for real estate debt, but as people in this conference keep on saying, where are the deals? And we are actually seeing these deals, but you've got to be focused and not general about it all.